with a couple more thoughts about that better deal. Uh, look, I definitely agree with Bryce Covert that there is a tremendous step forward here in the emphasis on anti-monopoly, and I think a lot of it will hinge on how well the Democrats present this in the months and years to come, and especially between now and 2018. If they can really emphasize the idea that corporations are shafting you six ways from Sunday, and this is where monopoly fits into it, corporations have too much power, they're, they're screwing you over, here's how we're gonna stop that, here's how your cable company will stop ripping you off, here's why you're cell phone company will stop ripping you off. Here's why your credit card company will stop ripping you off, although they are leaving the financial industry out of it for now. If they can do that, they'll be on to something. But I am really, as I mentioned with Bryce, I am really ticked off about this whole workers must compete with each other thing. Workers should not be competing with each other. That is old-fashioned democratic neoliberal ideology. And yes, neoliberalism is a thing. It is the ideology that says that the corporate model, the free market model, is the best way to make people's lives better. The experience of the last 30 years has shown that it is not the way to make people's lives better and that the Democrats were mistaken to ever follow it. Workers will make their lives better when they work together in unions, in movements, in solidarity with one another. Now, uh, Chuck Schumer, uh, Senate Minority Leader, wrote a piece, A Better Deal for American Workers, and just a couple more thoughts on it. One, if Democrats start throwing the phrase better deal around as one of those prepackaged slogans that they just use as a place marker instead of real proposals and real emotion, it's gonna fail for them. And even if it were the greatest phrase in the world, it would fail for them. And I heard some of that in the rollout of this, this whole agenda this week in their press conference in Berryville, Virginia. Now, um, uh, Chuck Schumer in his op-ed says there used to be a basic bargain in this country that if you worked hard and played by the rules, you could own a home, afford a car, put your kids through college and take them out as vacation every year. He says, I grew up in that America. Well, I did too. And you know what? You could do all those things on a single income if you wanted to. Uh, but things have changed. I would say he gets into some of the explanation of why things have changed, and that's good. Uh, he also talks about uh, two things. I guess, you know, maybe meatloaf was right, maybe not. When he said two out of three ain't bad, he starts out by saying people should have better pay. Uh, secondly, he says, you know, he talks about an infrastructure plan and that's good. And then he gets into retraining workers, the part that I did not like. But look, this is a good faith effort on the part of the Democrats. I think my takeaway from this is Democrats will change if we, the independent working people and activists of this country, continue to push them in the right direction. So I would say, don't just go along with it. Keep fighting and demanding better.